Just like that, Manchester United's midfield options are suddenly at full strength once again. Two and a half months on from feeling the full force of a lumbering Andy Carroll clattering into his ankle, Christian Eriksen made his long-awaited return to action against Everton on Saturday. The playmaker came on for the final 13 minutes and immediately showed just what United have been missing with a wide array of pinpoint passing and classy touches. Eriksen's return could not have come at a better time for Eric Ten Hag. His side have done well to bounce back from the Newcastle defeat with wins against Brentford and Everton but the fixtures are only going to get tougher from here. With United still competing on three different fronts and playing twice a week for a month at least, they need all the bodies they can get. Which makes it even better that Casemiro is back too. Though the fear of him picking up yet another suspension can't be escaped. It's certainly exciting to have the Brazilian available again after a four-match domestic ban. United have managed to win three of those four games but they still aren't the same side without their linchpin holding it all together. For the first time since January 28, United will be able to line up with Casemiro and Eriksen, a partnership that has been such a driving force behind their transformation, in the heart of midfield again. But, could Ten Hag opt for something different instead? Bruno Fernandes has been ready and willing to play wherever asked of him by the Dutchman and that has included playing deeper in midfield than he is used to in the last two matches. As Ten Hag explained, when you miss players you have to find solutions as a manager, as a coaching staff. So then you are looking. In the moment Casemiro and Eriksen were available there was no need to bring them down. But when you miss them you have to find a solution to bring the game from the back to get the build up, to progress the ball to attack. We found the idea to bring Bruno down deeper and he's doing brilliant, I think he's playing really good games. That he is. Fernandez's role change has worked an absolute treat. It's allowed him to get even more involved in attacks as he can get on the ball earlier in the build-up of moves thanks to his positioning and his great eye for a pass can be utilized to its full extent with much more to aim for. Against the Toffees he was especially influential, knocking the ball all over the field and constantly feeding United's wide forwards as they exploited the acres of space afforded to them. Additionally, Fernandez, who seems to shine with extra responsibility, has really stepped up the defensive side of his game as well and hasn't fallen into the trap of wandering up the pitch, abandoning his position and leaving his side exposed. In fact, he did quite the opposite and was repeatedly on hand to cut out danger. The Portuguese has taken to the role so well that there's a good argument that he should stay there, even if Eriksen and Casemiro are available again. If anything, the prospect of Fernandes forming a partnership with Casemiro is quite tantalizing. Scott McTominay has shown signs of improvement but he's clearly not as good as Casemiro, yet Fernandez was still able to play really well alongside him. With Casemiro there instead to protect the defense, win back the ball and get moves going, that could give Fernandez even more license to pull strings from deep. Ten Hag did deploy them alongside each other against Southampton but Casemiro was dismissed after just 34 minutes, which isn't nearly enough time to tell if it works or not. But now Ten Hag can try it again and it really has the makings of a formidable pairing. It's not as if United are lacking creative options without Fernandez taking up the role. 
Marcel Sabitzer did really well further up the pitch against Everton and was a regular goal threat. Eriksson, of course, is back again and oozes imagination. Jadon Sancho has shown flashes of ability in a central role, Woot Weghorst can play there and Scott McTominay has shown he can have an impact in advanced positions as well. Eriksson and Casemiro's return annoyingly coincides with what looks to be a significant injury suffered by Marcus Rashford but United are at least well stocked in the middle of the park and the partnership of Fernandez and Casemiro could spur them on to claim more silverware.